Hey everyone. So sending Teams messages or emails with your Power Automate flows is great, but sometimes you have a need to use some other type of communication. And often the type of communication that is at the top of the list is being able to send and receive SMS messages. So in this video, I'm going to look at one solution that you can use to send and receive SMS messages using Power Automate, and that's using the third-party service Twilio. Um, so let's jump in and take a look at Twilio. So the first question is probably, what's Twilio, if you haven't come across this before? Well, um, for our purposes, it's a messaging platform. It actually does a lot of different things, um, but it allows you to send and receive messages uh, one type of message that you can do is uh, SMS, but it can do WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, um, Google Business Messages. So there's a lot of different options here, um, and it provides a conduit for you to be able to send and receive messages uh, as you need to. So you can come in here and you can actually start for free. You can set yourself up a, um, a free account uh, to try it out. So that's what I've gone ahead and done here. Um, I've set up an account, I've grabbed myself a phone number, and this is what I'm going to be using to work with Power Automate today. So jumping into Power Automate, the first thing I'm gonna do is to send an SMS. And sending an SMS is actually fairly straightforward. I've got a manually triggered flow here, but um, you could equally have this at any part of your flow. And I'm just gonna create two inputs. I'm gonna create a, uh, a number, and I'm going to create a message and I'm going to put in a new step which is going to be using the Twilio connector so I'm going to search for Twilio and I'm going to go to send text message and so I can create a name for my connection I'm just going to call this Twilio and then there are two pieces of information I need I need my account ID and my token so I'm going to jump back to my console here I'm going to grab my account ID and I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to come back and grab my token and I'm going to paste that in here and click on create so the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to choose a from phone number and you can see my from phone number is available here now that it's connected to Twilio and I can put in my two phone number so that's going to be number I'm putting my message, so that's going to be my message there. And I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna put a number in, and the way you want to format your number is with a plus and the country code at the front. So this is the number that I wanna to send to. And then I want to put in a message. So I'm just gonna put in test message and I'm gonna go ahead and run the flow. And you can see our message has been sent and you have all the information related to the message um, down here. So I will point out that if you're using a trial account for a Twilio, you do have to send to the number that they have on file with you. So if you want to add an additional number, there are ways of doing that. But if you wanna be able to send to anyone, then you have to have a paid account with Twilio. So sending your message is fairly straightforward. Um, let's have a look at receiving a message. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new automation. I'm gonna have a cloud flow and this is going to be an automated flow. And I'm just gonna skip this and we're going to look for the Twilio connector. And there we go, Twilio. Uh, hang on a minute, we can't find any triggers. So this leads to the question of how on earth do you receive a message if there is no trigger from Twilio? Well, actually this is really easy. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look for HTTP. Uh, actually, we need to come out of this. So we're gonna look for HTTP and we're going to use this when an HTT request is received. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this request body JSON schema blank. And we're just gonna add in a new step here, uh, a compose step. 
and we're just going to take the body from this as our uh, compose step. And what we're going to do is what this trigger does is allows us to use an external HTTP request to trigger a flow from uh, elsewhere. So what it really creates is a webhook for us that we can utilize to integrate Power Automate into something else that we're triggering from somewhere else. So as soon as you save this, you get this, uh, this post URL in this address bar here. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna jump back over to Twilio. So what you want to do is you want to look at phone numbers and then we're gonna go to manage active numbers and we're gonna jump into our number here and we're going to come down to messaging configuration. You're going to make sure that a me when a message comes in is set to webhook and you're going to go ahead and you're going to put the address that you got from Power Automate in there and then you're going to save the configuration. Then I'm going to jump back to my flow. I'm actually going to jump out of my flow. Let's go into the details of it here and I'm gonna go ahead and send a message from my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh, and you can see that I've received my message. I'm gonna jump in here and just see what we received. Um, so you can see I've received this information from the, the text message. Um, I have this form data uh, that I can then take and use elsewhere in my flow. So I'm not going to take you through what you can do with this. Obviously, um, you can come up with whatever you need to, but sending and receiving text messages, SMS messages using Twilio is as simple as that. So Twilio is certainly not the only option for sending or receiving SMS with Power Automate. And in another video, I will certainly circle back to this and take a look at another solution I've used, which is Azure Communication Services. So you can send and receive your SMS messages right from within Azure. But there are several different options providing similar functionality. If you just take a look through the connectors that are present in Power Platform, then you'll find a few with services that enable you to use SMS elsewhere. Now you need to remember if you're going to do this, that SMS communication is something that is regulated in different ways, depending on where you're sending from and who you're sending to. So it's important to make sure that whatever you build is in compliance with those regulations so it's really worth reading up on this a little before moving any solution that includes SMS into your production environment. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If it has, then please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, bye bye.